Hey folks, NX19.8 is here. It launched on NPM last Friday. We're going to go through some of the release blog here to go over all of the updates. You can check out the link to the full blog in the post below. And let's get to it. So NX19.8, this is actually the last minor release before we get ready to move into the next major release, version 20. Now version 20 should land in October and it should be at roughly the same time as the Monorepo World Conference 2024. So be sure to check out the Monorepo World website. We still have some tickets available if you're looking to come in person and you can find all of the information regarding the conference, including how to get your ticket and all the speakers and all the talks here on the monorepo.world website. All right, so let's get into the actual content here. So first up is NX import. Now NX import is a new top level command, which allows you to import projects along with their Git history from some other repository into your current NX workspace. This is one of the big features we're really hyped up for in NX 19.8. We're going to do a full video on this later on. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch it when it goes out. All right, next up is improved task scheduling. So we've added some optimizations to the core of NX, particularly around NX's task scheduling. So as of NX 19.8, we're going to start using historical data on each of the tasks that have been run. Uh, this way we can determine the average time it takes to run that task. We can then feed that into our scheduling so that we can always kind of prioritize the longer running tasks first. This way, when NX is running several tasks in parallel, it's kind of starting the ones that'll go longer first, and this should end up with overall better timing on the whole. So this is a really cool optimization. You'll get it for free as of NX 19.8. Nothing's really going to change here other than when you run a bunch of tasks at the same time, you may start noticing that it goes a little faster. Next up, Project Crystal comes to Angular. So Project Crystal allows you to infer tasks for your project in your workspace, rather than having to specify them explicitly into a project.json file. And in an Angular context, you might see an angular.json file at the root of your workspace, which would include all of your projects and all of the relevant task information there. So now you can run the command nx init in any project created by the Angular CLI. We're actually going to generate project.json files for each Angular project in your workspace. So splitting it out from that root angular.json. All right, next up is also project crystal related. So you can now crystallize your entire workspace with one command. So when we initially launched project crystal, we shipped it with convert to infer generators. And these generators would convert one plugin at a time. And now with NX 19.8, we've added a inferred targets generator. This is actually going to run convert to inferred for every plugin present in your workspace on every project. And you can also specify a target project using the dash dash project option of the generator at the command line. So up next we have new X workspaces will be created with ESLint version nine. So when creating a new workspace using the command npx create X workspace, those workspaces will now be created with ESLint v9 and TypeScript ESLint v8. And these are the most recent versions for those packages. So keep in mind that ESLint version eight faces end of light on October 5th, which is coming up quick, meaning only flat config is supported moving forward. NX users should be able to migrate to the new flat config format using the flat config generator. We actually did a video on this in the past. So I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's great for understanding everything you need to know about ESLint, including the migration to the new flat config format coming up. Next up, we have NX release enhancement. So NX release is our solution to versioning, publishing, and generating change logs for your monorepo. We've been continuing to invest in the NX release in 19.8, adding supports for PMPM publish and for GitHub enterprise server. We also have a new feature from our NX champion, uh, Jonathan Gillen which allows you to use group pre-version command in addition to the pre-version command when using group features to support building before versioning. So this is a feature that we have for NX release. You can see here, here's a pre-version command. This is a command that will run before you version your packages. And now, as we can see down here, as we can see here, we're specifying a group pre-version command. So this is a pre-version command that will only run for this targeted group inside of the groups data here of the release config of your NX JSON file. So that's all the highlights of NX 19.8. As always, you can migrate NX and all of its plugins using the command NX migrate latest. This is going to update your dependencies for you and generate a migrations.json file of any automatic migrations we can detect to run your workspace. To then run those migrations, you run the command npx nx migrate dash dash run dash migrations. Once this command is completed, you can commit those changes 
and publish them out to your main branch, and you should be good to go for NX 19.8. And we mentioned Mono Repo World earlier, but as a special announcement, we recently announced the round two of all of our speakers. Be sure to check that out here on monorepo.world. You can see we have an extensive panel now of really awesome speakers. That's it for this time. Until next time, keep working hard. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.